Looking for a quick seafood dish to do on Met Weber? Then this is the video for you. Now don't forget everything you in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get those Weber and barbecue products, so make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Hi Weber fans, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be cooking some whiting on the Weber Q. Now if you've never had whiting, it's probably the best fish closest to cod that you can get, and there's 13 different species around the coastal areas of Australia. So today we're gonna be cooking a spicy baked whiting with five simple ingredients, so let's dive straight into it. All right, before we start today's recipe, there's a few items you're gonna need. So you're gonna want a mixing bowl. I find these fantastic. There will be links down below. They'll come with lids and they're brilliant for making marinades and rubs. And then you're gonna require a baking tray or a cuware pan. I prefer the cuware pan. I think it's fantastic for recipes like this and it just works really, really well, especially with the removable handle. So let's get this weapon with it, lit, sort out the ingredients and start making the rub. With our rub, we're gonna start with one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of dried parsley, one teaspoon of onion flakes, one teaspoon of crushed chili flakes, a dash of sea salt, and one teaspoon of lime juice. Then just give that all a mix. Okay, with our whites today, we've got nine pieces of white, and we're gonna do this in two batches, and the recipe is for four pieces. So first up, grab your whiting, and you're just gonna pat that dry all over. And we're just going to baste those with some olive oil. Now we're going to baste our whiting with our rub. And that's now ready to go on the queue. Whiting's gone in, we're gonna leave that to bake for around 15 minutes, and that's gonna be at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll put on screen what that is in Celsius. Right, so our whiting's come off and it smells divine. We'll let it rest for a little bit before we plate it up and give it a bit of a taste test. Don't forget everything used in the video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get those barbecue products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Well, so enjoy that quick and simple recipe. And that whiting came out absolutely amazing. You got that hint of kick from those chili flakes. You got the lime juice, which brought it back a bit. Flavors work really, really well. Let me know in the comments if you try this out. Let me know what you think. And for those of you looking for the perfect side dish to go with this, check out this video. And for those of you looking to cook the perfect pork roast, check out this video. So thanks for watching, happy cooking, and I'll catch you in the next one.